Hey friends and welcome to today's video where we discuss treatment strategies to prevent for tumor angiogenesis. If you don't know what tumor angiogenesis is, I highly recommend you my video where I explain how a tumor somehow tricks the blood system to get enough oxygen supply. A tumor can just grow to a certain size without the sprouting of new blood vessels towards its direction. So what does a tumor normally do? So we have these VEGF receptors in the endothelial cell layer. And in reaction to hypoxia, the tumor will somehow secrete these vascular endothelial growth factors here. The main idea here to prevent for tumor angiogenesis is that we have to somehow prevent or inhibit the binding of VEGF onto the VEGF receptors. If we can somehow inhibit this procedure, we can also inhibit the growth of new blood vessels in direction to the tumor and therefore we can limit the tumor size. So we have several options to do so. The first one I'm going to present here is we can use antibodies against VEGF. So these antibodies here can bind to VEGF and therefore if we have enough of these antibodies, at least in theory VEGF should not bind onto VEGF receptors anymore. And there are already some available on the market and one of these famous antibodies here is Bevacizumab, it's also known as Avastin. What they do is they inhibit the angiogenesis. So the tumor will not grow anymore. I say again, at least in theory. It has been shown that this is working, but unfortunately just to a certain degree. So option number one, antibodies against VEGF. So let's see what else we could do. The second option is the use of VEGF receptor blockers. There are some on the market. For example, lenvatinib and lucitanib. And what they do is they inhibit the tyrosine kinase. So usually when this VEGF receptor binds VEGF, it can bind ATP. And due to several dockings of proteins, proteases are in the end secreted, which will degrade the basement membrane. However, if we block the tyrosine kinase activity intracellular, we block the ATP binding site. So this also prevents the tumor from growing. However, we have to say that the blocking of the ATP binding site on tyrosine kinases is rather unspecific in most cases, which means that there are also other receptor tyrosine kinases in the system and they might also get blocked. So other cell signaling might also be inhibited by this process. Just to keep that in mind. I'd like to present a third option we have the option of soluble receptors. And here we just make copies of the receptor and somehow modify them. There is one on the market which is called Aflibetzept and this is called a VEGF trap. It traps VEGF. So let's see how that works. The model for that is the original VEGF receptor. This is cleaved so that just the receptor site is available and it is modified. In this case we take a different color for that. And these soluble receptors now in the system can bind VEGF and therefore compete with the original VEGF receptors. This is also a way to inhibit tumor growth. To sum up all options I presented you here, the first option was that we can have antibodies against VEGF. The second option was we can also block the receptor site. And the third option was to take soluble receptors so-called VEGF traps, which are modified receptor sites to bind the ligand. These are the ways to inhibit tumor angiogenesis. There is still a lot to develop and let's say research is in constant progress. We can all just hope that there is a good treatment soon. And with that, I thank you very much for watching. I'm out for today. I hope it was helpful and see you later. Bye.